Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Trinkle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my final movie review today is one I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. It is called The Initiation. It was released on April 28th, 1984. It is a slasher movie that received a 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb and an 87% on Google. It was directed by Larry Stewart and written by Charles Pratt Jr. And it stars Daphne Zeninga, Vera Miles, Clue Gulliger, and James Reed. And this is the first lead role for Daphne Zeninga. She had a minor role in another horror movie from 1982 called The Dorm That Dripped Blood. I highly recommend you check that movie out as well. That is a really good uh, horror movie. Slasher, if you will. But this movie uh, follows Kelly Fairchild, who at a young age, as a young girl, she's having this recurring nightmare of a man on fire and another man and woman in the same room. For the life of her, she can't figure it out. She has really no memory of the incident. Fast forward many years later, uh, we find her in college pledging a sorority. There are four girls left out of 15. Uh, and there's one thing, uh, her family is rich. They have a big old building with many stores in it. And these, these uh, pledges are tasked with going in and stripping the security guard of all of his clothes, including his underwear and socks. They need to do that and present it to the leader of the sorority as one of their final tests to get in. And while they're in there, the um, girl who's in charge of this, uh, she's also the leader of the sorority. She's also a bitch in this movie. Her and some of her uh, guy friends um, are there to try and scare these pledges. Uh, not knowing that there is a killer on the loose, a um, unidentified person uh, killing people. And while that's going on, there was a uh, an escape of six people uh, from the sanitarium, one of which uh, we get to see periodically throughout the movie. And... <coughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, well, I will say this. When the killings start, you probably will assume that it is this person, which is what I did. But is it the person? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All I'm going to tell you, the third act of this movie is by far the best. Uh, the movie's great throughout. I, I had no issues with this movie. Uh, Daphne Zaninga, uh, her performance is great. And there's one thing you'll want to do. Do not read the synopsis or plot of this movie. Don't look at the cast of characters or nothing. Go in blind and watch this movie uh, just like I did. Because the third act really surprised me. Um, I didn't really put it together until um, they started putting some pieces together and uh yeah this was this is a phenomenal slasher movie this is now one of my favorites um and one that i will be watching periodically throughout each year going forward uh, as i said daphne zaninga was great in this movie um i think this is one of her best performances alongside another 80s movie the sure thing um, i think they're 1a and 1b I would definitely give this one the 1A. I think it's a little bit above the sure thing. Uh, but other than that, that's all I'm going to say about the movie. Definitely check this one out. You will not, you will not be disappointed. Uh, and this movie does have a cult following as well. I uh, don't have no box office numbers to go with it. There's no Rotten Tomatoes score. This is a fantastic movie, in my opinion. So I'm going to give The Initiation a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. 
And what is your favorite film role from Daphne Zuniga? Uh, she was also in another great 80s movie called Spaceballs. Uh, that would definitely be in my top three for sure. Uh, but this one, I, when you see the third act, you'll know what I'm talking about. But other than that, like I said, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe today for more content. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Share this video on your social media as you see fit to. Um, and don't forget, I also do TV show reviews, trailer reviews, top tens, and rankings. I just recently did a ranking of my top 50 movies you should watch before you die list. Um, that is based on IMDb's list of 1,001 movies you should watch before you die. I am following that list from the 2017 version. Now, they update it uh, each year as new movies come out, but I'm going to stick with the 2017 list for now. And then um, as I get through all the movies I can through there, which I've seen about 180 of those so far, um, I will move on to the next list, the most recent updated one, and I will go from there. Uh, most, about half the movies are foreign films, so I won't be able to find them. I'm just going to focus on the U.S. releases as far as the ones I'm going to watch. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for many more movie reviews, as is tomorrow and Sunday. It'll be nothing but horror movies and slasher movies from the 1980s. I have a whole bunch to watch, so look forward to those reviews as well. And on Tuesday, I'll finally be able to watch Avengers Endgame, so look forward to that review on Tuesday. If I have company here, which is usually my uh, youngest brother, it will be to Wednesday when I review that movie. But thank you for watching, and check you later.